Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for having me. So today in this classroom, I would like to present uh, my presentations for English language teaching professional development. And today I would like to bring up the issue related to the teachers' professional program, the urgencies, and also the challenges. The Bahasa in this program is very well known as Pendidikan Professionalism Group. First thing first, I would like you guys to see the pictures on the screen. So this picture, of course, you guys can see there is a connection or uh, activity between the teacher and also the students. So my question is, what is really important when we talk about the communications or the interactions among the teacher and also the students? What should be there when we teach? Understanding. Yeah. Understanding. Good. Second. Our teachers should be here. Help the students. Okay. Okay. Teachers should help the students. Good. Another one. Give motivation. Yeah. Give motivation. Good. Raising. Yeah. Raising. Raising. Creating psychologically safe conditions. Okay. Creating psychologically, psychologically safe, safe conditions. Good. You guys did such a great job. So if I may say, or if I may conclude from your answers, we can categorize that the teachers should have not only pedagogical skill in terms of teaching, and also mastery of the uh, you know materials, but also they need to have like professional and also a social skill and also the personality that they can use inside of the classroom to interact with their students. You guys say yes with me? Yes. All right, good. Now, shout out to the material that I would like to discuss. Firstly, <coughs> we begin with the questions, what is PPG or teacher's professional program? So anyone can give the insight for this? Such kind of uh, education okay. that uh, floor the what's that? teaching ability for teachers. Okay. So it's specific for the teaching ability. Okay, so it's specifically for teaching ability. Good. That's a good answer. <coughs> but before that, PPG or Teachers Professional uh, Program. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, this is a formal setting for professional development for the teacher released by our Ministry of Education and also Ministry of uh, Religions in Indonesia. So if I may say that PPG is actually divided into two. First one, PPG Prajagatan, is called this one because it, is, it refers to those students, actually the first graduate one, who would like to be a teacher and has no experience at all in teaching. So they have to follow the PPG program, so they go to the PPG Prajagatan. So this is for the first graduate one. And then the second of all, we have PPG Dalam Jabatan. Uh, I did this timing. So it refers or it aimed for the civil servant, and this program is actually applicated <coughs> in the late 2015 by Committee Group of Ministry of Education. <coughs> All right, so now the reasons why the government conduct this uh, program for the teachers. So based on the uh, you know explanations from the Ministry of Education that I got from the webs website of the Ministry, so there is two major issues that actually still happening around us. The first one is underqualification teachers. Why is that so? We're going to discuss this together later on in the next slide. And the second of all, teachers who are less competent. So we may see that a lot of teachers, tons of teachers actually exist in Indonesia. But when we talk about the competencies and also the qualifications of being a teacher, somehow we have to think twice whether or not these persons can be, you know, let's say, justifiable to be a teacher of our kids. And <clears throat> now, the second one that we'd like to discuss, the urgencies. So this part will answer the reasons or the questions why the government should have PPG or why we as a teacher should follow this program in the very first place. The first one, as you guys can see, <clears throat> I have, before I do these presentations, I have conducted a mini research with three different persons with three different background of the role in the PPG program. 
The first one, I did interview with these students, and she's a teacher of the junior high, and just following the, um, you know, she's a brand new in the Catholic program. And based on the interview, she said that because of the pandemic COVID-19, so this pandemic is actually last online, and it lasts for about four months training. Yes, so, and <clears throat> before this student, actually the teacher go to this PPG program, or teacher's professional program, they need to pass three kinds of tasks. The first one, the administrative tasks, well actually it deals with the, you know, certificates on and so forth. <clears throat> the second of all is substantive tasks, it deals with the materials, the pedagogical, and then, you know, anything deals with the teacher professional in terms of the, you know, pedagogy. And the last one is the interview. And if the teacher or the students actually pass these three tasks, so they can follow the Pepega program. And then second of all, I did the interview with the tutor teacher. What is tutor teacher? Well, tutor teacher is actually a teacher who already teach in the school for about, like, let's say, more than five or 10 years with the qualifications needed by the Minister of the Education. And this tutor teacher actually do to you know, help the students or help the lecturer as the main lecturer to you know, first giving advice to the learning and then giving advice uh, related to the learning apparatus or learning kit and then uh, giving you know, advice dealing with the module LKPD in Bahasa. What is LKPD in Bahasa? Tempat kerja peserta didik on the assessment, math model, and also method of learning that they use in the classroom and also the classroom management. The teacher is a uh, teacher tutor is available for all the qualifications started at kindergarten, primary, secondary, junior, <coughs> senior, and professional high school. So this PPG program is actually available for those teacher from kindergarten to the uh, senior high school, professional high school, and even pesantren teacher. And the last one is the lecturer. I did interview with one of the lecturer of from PPG coming from this university as. Um, and then the reasons why <clears throat> the reasons why this program need to be you know uploaded or need to be run in for the first place is actually we have to refer to the Peraturan Pemerintah or in English we say as the government uh, article number seventy four year two thousand and eight. So this article actually said that sorry I have to read I cannot remember those things. It's a lot of things. Teacher must possess academic qualifications, competence. Uh, educator acts and a healthy attitude toward both men and women, so it's <coughs> useful. And maybe later on, we need to accept the issues of non binary sexual. And also, as well as the capacity to carry out the goals of the national um, education. <coughs> Why this is important? Because our teacher is actually responsible towards our generations. Now, we're living in the generation, or let's say, now they're speaking about the Zillennial or Generation Z generation. So this teacher actually need to update their knowledge, update their, uh, you know, let's say pedagogical, and they have to keep in touch with the students and what is actually happening right now. <clears throat> now, well, PEPEG is actually, uh, this is the answer for the supply and also demand of our uh, nations dealing with the teacher. We know that our countries are keep level and then the geographically is actually, there is a school in the mountain, and then we also divide it into three parts, urban, suburban, and also remote area. So this Pepega is actually a place where we can, you know, gather all the teachers and then give them the same equal, you know, pedagogical things and then professional skills, social and also professional uh, development in the very first place. Plus, now we're facing, or we are in the 21st century, where we face the corporate oil industry, <coughs> the revolutionary industry. <coughs> Everything go digital, so, so we need to be sure, sorry, <coughs> that our teacher is ready for that. Now, <coughs> we comes up to the third things, <coughs> which is the challenge. All right. So based on the interview, I have divided the challenge into some parts. The first one, challenge faced by the lecturer during the PPG or teacher's professional program. <clears throat> so the lecturer see the students, I mean the teacher who already included PPG. She said that TPAC is really weak. What's TPAC? Mm -hmm. 
technological, pedagogical, or fair knowledge. Okay, good, really nice. So I have given you a full note here. So the TLAC is really regretted, ladies and gentlemen. We know that this technological, pedagogical, and technology is actually, you know, refers to the pedagogical in the first place. And the lecturer said that most of the teacher, those teachers have already been teaching for, let's say, 10 or 15 years, and then their pedagogical things or the TLAC is really weak. So what can we do to help them? So PEPEC may maybe one of the way out. And the second of all, the lecturer also said that the students are teachers from the different background. Like I previously mentioned, they come from, a, you know, urban, urban, and even remote area where they have a different, you know, a capability for accessing the information. So let's say we are now in the urban, <clears throat> in the urban area. It's really easy for us to access the internet. It's really for us to access any information coming from the government because we're really close to them. But I think these conditions will be different if we have to compare with those teachers coming from <clears throat> the mountain school, let's say, or they are in the remote area who needs to be like one, two hours from the center of the government. So we need to think this in the very first place. No, the second one. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Now, this is a challenge faced by the teacher or the students in the PEPEG itself. First, the, st the students <clears throat> feels and they admit that they are lack of ICT integrations. So what does it mean? So they have the gadget, they have the smartphone, they know what is digital literacy, but it, at the same point, they don't know how to maximize the, the, the gadget that they have. They don't know how to use the smart books, the smartphone well, let's say. So in other case, or in other words, maybe the lecturer may say that those students in, at some point are digital illiterate. Sorry to say that, but it is not from the lecturer. And then the second of all, the hearts in the classroom is really weak. I mean, can we imagine that how can the teacher who has low ability in terms of high order thinking skill, can teach our kids or can teach the students with this era in the classroom. So we need to update this teacher in the very first place so this teacher can bring the best of our students so our generations result in a good product. Third one, the 4C is developing. Anyone know who is 4C? <clears throat> 4C? Critical thinking. Thinking. Creativity, yes. collaboration, Good. communication. Nice, that is 4C. The first one is creative thinking. <coughs> so the teacher itself admit that in some point, they lack of the creativity. The creativity is stuck, ladies and gentlemen. When they have to teach inside the classroom, they need to adjust with the children's conditions, but at the same time, they need to bring this theory, they need to, let's say, have a burden as the structural teacher inside of the class at that school. So the burden is so high. This teacher is overwhelmed with this responsibility. So that is why, in terms of creative uh, thinking, at some point, this teacher are struggle. <clears throat> the second of all, <clears throat> critical thinking and also problem solving, communications and also collaborations. Well, <clears throat> the reasons why PEPEG is actually happening uh, right now is maybe the government wants those teachers, our teachers, to share their knowledge, to get knowledge from one to another, to learn from one to another, and also to get a new insight <coughs> from the expert to result to a professional teacher in the future that we are responsible to our kids, but to our generations. <clears throat> now, this is the last part, the conclusions. You guys can see on the screen. <clears throat> well, as the issues of teacher is raising up right now, the teacher need to have self-awareness to call the pedagogy campaign. Why I state this thing like this? Because based on the interview, with one of the teacher, they say some of the friends of the teachers following this PEPEG program just to get certificate and just to get certifications. They don't, you know, okay, we have international stu uh, students right here. So in Indonesia, we know that the civil servant students, a uh, civil servant teacher will get the certifications, meaning that they will get extra money from the government. This extra money is actually, uh, you know, <clears throat> for their professional development. But at some point, sometimes, they use the money for other things. 
for their living, for their anything in their life. So this money is not really used well by this teacher. <clears throat> so that is why the, the students that I have interviewed previously mentioned that there are some of the teachers who are already students just want to get the certificate and certifications in the very first place. They don't really care about the pedagogical, they don't really care about what inside of the classroom, and this is a big deal. <clears throat> Second statement, teachers should maximize all facilities provided by the government to help them foster the professional development. Yes, that's one of the way out. We already have a PPG and it's free. Let's say the government gives a scholarship for those press graduates who wants to teach in the um, school to follow this one. They don't need to pay anything. They just need to prepare themselves, follow the task, and then if they make it, they can be a teacher. <clears throat> and one of the formal way of implementing teachers' professional development is PPG, like I mentioned. Teachers are expected to use it wisely and carefully because they are responsible for our generations, right? And the last one, the intention for just to get the educator certificate or certification should be raised. So these issues should be raised in the very first place to maximize our potential, our teachers' uh, potentials in terms of professionalism at the end of the day. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of my presentations. Thank you for having me. Do we have a question in this here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Q&A. Question? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for your explanation. Yeah. Uh, for, from your explanation, uh, that the beginning <coughs> program from our economy yes. and it's for uh, teacher professional development. Yeah. Uh, but in fact, when the teacher uh, should follow the PPG, especially for those prajabatan, they have to follow for one year. It means they have to resign from the school. In fact, in Banjarnegara, especially where I live, uh, there are many schools that uh, their teacher has to resign because has, they have to uh, join the PPG. One school, they lost four until five teachers. And it's uh, yeah, hard for, for the school to let them go. But uh, the teacher uh, make decision that they, they have to, they want to join the PPG because yeah, they bring lots of benefit for yeah. them. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's vice versa for the school, uh, they like of the teacher. So yeah. what do you think? Well, I think, thank you very much for the questions. Well, I think at the same point, it's really uh, unfortunate to lose those uh, teacher from the school. The school already have uh, those educators, and they already know, like you know, the um, format and also the routines at that school. So it's really unfortunate for the, for the school, of course. But in other things, at the or in the other hand, I think it's really beneficial for the teacher itself and also for the school at the if the teacher already finished the PPG, so this teacher can be back to the school if there's still availability, right? And the school will be, you know, get the benefit from this program because they have more professional teachers in the school. And now, for answering your questions, I also have another alternative news. Now we're facing a pandemic <clears throat> COVID-19, or let's say it's already been endemic COVID-19. But the system of our schools at the some point is still online, right? And PPG itself now is still running online via Zoom. And this teacher do not have to, you know, let's say have a, a day off from the school or they, have, they don't have to go from the school for let's say one year. So for now, PPG is only four months and it can be done during, um, via you know, Zoom, via online. So I think everything now is still Teachers to uh, what's that? Replace those teachers. 
Yeah, we cannot really, you know, neglect that this is the risk that the school or we as a teacher should accept, right? Mm -hmm. So this is like a win-win solutions. If the school wants professional teacher, so they have to let it go for over one year. It's a really short time. After that, the school, if they still have the availability, these teacher can be back to school. My first answer for the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the system of PPG changed from time to time. Yeah. From my experience, I followed it for about 11 days. There is a theory session and also uh, yeah, micro-teaching with our friends. But later on, after it has been developed by the government, that the system, like today, for four months online meeting and the other time is for the PPL program. So, yet, by doing this program, the teacher can enhance their professional development. But on the other side, it also creates a problem. That's with how many days the teacher left the school, how many hours the student doesn't get in touch with their teacher, even though there is a material that the teacher left for them, but still it is inefficient for them because, for uh, especially for English, yeah, they still need our guidance, yeah. our uh, assistant there to guide them. Oh, this is like this, ma'am. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, uh, I think every uh, every activity has both sides, yeah, good or bad. Okay. I agree with your explanation that if the school want to uh, get the uh, good teacher, then they have to let the teacher join yeah. the PPG. <clears throat> but yes, there is still a problem, and that's the fact. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the government should also uh, put intention or uh, friend, uh, what? Attention. Attention. attention to this, this condition. Yeah. Here, I can feel you, Wilma. It's really a misery for us to see that our our students are left without guidance if the teacher has to go with the PPG program. But I think one of the solutions is the school need to find substitute teacher. When the uh, the, the main teacher go for PPG, the school can find substitute teacher, the substitute teacher to let's say guide the student inside the classroom with the material given from the work. Previous teacher. So but I think it can be finding the substitute teacher, it means deals with the money. Yeah. That's not yet not a problem too. Okay, even though uh, there is a case that in some area the teacher who joined this program should pay by their own money to the substitute teacher mm -hmm. to substitute her. Okay. The school cannot pay. Yeah. Right. So uh, she herself that paid the substitute teacher okay. to substitute her in the class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for this, not only for the PPG, I think, but like what we have done today to enhance our uh, professional by joining a formal course in a university. Not all of the headmaster give their permission, permission to the teacher by uh, using the class will be empty. Who will substitute me? Yeah. Even me? When I ask permission, it's also sometimes difficult. You know? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. It's this issue. We need to bring this issue to the policymaker, right? Yeah. So we're not the one. I'm not the one who's supposed to answer this question because it's really difficult. It deals with the money. It deals with the you know, a <coughs> lot, a lot of what does that mean? What is that? Uh, things that the government government think. So I think I cannot really help for these issues. And for my opinion, it's just like if this is really uh, you know matter, so try to find uh, the subject teacher. But if the money is the big issue, so I think we need to talk with the school and also the policy maker. Fine, upon the teacher with the Honda, let's say. Yeah, previously we have found that, you know, help, help by the government. Okay.
Submerging the sea. <laughs> yeah. The situation is not a bit far from okay. the So, what's the reason after getting the professional training, after getting uh, very huge salaries, why we don't have good uh, students? Why? If teachers say that we are not satisfied, why you are not satisfied? You have salary, you have pension, government, you have a lot of money, TA, DA, everything. And also government give the training to them. So what's the responsibility of the teacher? Like teacher always crying, it's not government, it's from police maker. So why teacher is not obeying his or her own responsibility according to your presentation? Well, I think your question is really great because the answer is actually we need to give these questions back to the personnel of the teacher itself. I cannot say that we cannot stereotype that all teachers are bad, all teachers only focus on the money, all the teachers are focused to get the certifications or certificate only. But we need to really admit that, act, you know, aware that there are a lot of teachers who do good, they take the salary, they take this program, they take the certifications, are extra money coming to government, and they still do professional to the teacher, uh, to the students. I mean, they still give the best of teachers. What should, what, 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 should, what should we do, what should government do to motivate the teacher, to strengthen the teacher, to do their duty very well? So what should we do? Oh yeah, we provide this kind of training for free, let's say. Tons of training, tons well, of... After training, if you see the statistics, there is no good result. Why? Like after getting a professional training, the situation remains like like same. all the same, there is no changes. Well, first it takes time because how we much time? Like it's more well, than we need, thirty years. Yeah, so. we need to think about the ratio, boys. So <laughs> now we're living in Indonesia. So you know the total number of the teacher in Indonesia yes. is high. A lot of teachers in Indonesia. If we want to see a change, it cannot be it cannot be said from one or two teacher. We need the representative of those teachers across Indonesia, right? So at least 50%. So how much or how many of teachers in, the, in that 50% of teachers if we would like to see, let's say, a significant change from the teacher? We need to do more research on this. We cannot say globally like, oh, only, oh there is only no... Professional, yeah, only professional training can bring a change or some other things also like government should do for the teachers. Well, yes, we need to, from the government, yeah, I like, I like your question, it's really triggering. First, from the government, government should provide these kind of things, this kind of program for free, of course, for teachers. And they need to provide, you know, the, the policy that protect and support our teacher. Like we already heard from our teacher right here, Ibu Irma, she said that, I want to follow, I want to follow the PPG, I want to develop my professional de uh, development. But in, at the other hand, the headmaster is make me difficult to go from the school just to pursue my professional development. One, so we, one, need, uh, we need to help this teacher. I motivate your words, I will not cut you off sometimes. Is the professional training, I also asked the Guilma, okay. is necessary for headmaster or for teachers? Or for the teacher. No, no, which, which, one? which one is? Uh, yeah. Professional is, is training. Is, uh, is it necessary for headmaster first or teachers? Teachers. No. So if the if headmaster didn't understand anything about the professionalism, so how come he, she will bring changes in the schooling system? Well, the headmaster I is think also... Not much, much, I think, I don't think so. Oh, well. Wait a second, I, the headmaster is also a teacher. Sure. So this headmaster should follow the PPG. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, as a headmaster in Indonesia, is also a teacher with uh, an addition job. Yeah. So uh, our headmaster also joined the PPG program Already. Yeah, as a teacher too. But after some time, maybe he got a new addition task as a headmaster but the strange 
friends they yeah that sometimes uh, in their month they know that the teacher has to follow them but on the other hand what about my school maybe maybe something that uh, because the responsibility yeah the headmaster had but if the headmaster really really know uh, the urgency uh, yeah the urgency the meaning <coughs> that their school will cut they can let the teacher go mm -hmm. and he uh, will think for the alternative way to uh, to give a solution for the problem but not all of the headmaster had wise thinking so, like, uh, that. <coughs> like that okay yeah But I think it is, I, I just, there are differences in Korea situation and in Indonesia. But we, we have to create a statue, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the vision, yeah. Yeah. They give, they, uh, they receive a license of teacher. Yeah. So they can, uh, yeah, we have, uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Do we have more questions for this? Yes. 
Okay, so if there is no question, let's close the sessions by saying Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much, Thank you.